Morning, all. Welcome to the Sunbox Ensuring Food Security Beyond the School Year webinar. For those who don't know me, I'm Jane McLucas, and I am the Director of Child Nutrition here at the State of Maine. I have been working with DHHS um, in order to bring Sunbox to fruition, and I appreciate all their hard work in doing this program for the children of Maine. If you have questions, you can put them in the Q&A box, um, and Paula will read those to me at the end of the presentation. So thank you very much for spending your time with us this morning, um, and I'm going to hit the road. So in December of 22, a bipartisan Congress created the new permanent program for the states and Indian tribal organizations, now known as Sunbox. This will provide food dollars to low-income families with school-aged kids over the summer months. This will provide grocery buying benefits to low-income families with school-aged children when schools are closed for the summer. This is a permanent program and it's the 16th program under the child nutrition umbrella. Also known as EBT, Sunbox aims to tackle food insecurity among children for the summer, and it addresses the gap with school that school that is left by school meal programs across the summer months. Beginning in the summer of 24, states and select Indian tribal organizations will offer families with eligible school-aged children a monthly allowance of, of $40 per summer months of June, July, and August per child for groceries, mirroring the usage of the SNAP benefits. The benefits will be dispersed in a one single payment of $120. Sunbox can be utilized to purchase a wide variety of items, including fruits and vegetables, meat and poultry. It cannot be used to cover purchases of beer, wine, liquor, or tobacco products, and they cannot be used for hot prepared foods, pet foods, or cleaning supplies. If families need a comprehensive list, they can go to the FNS website for Sunbox eligible food items. The distribution of benefits will happen automatically and they'll be uploaded onto the appropriate EBT card associated with a person's account. If a family has SNAP, it will go onto their pine tree card. If the family only had PEBT last year, um, it will go onto their PEBT card from last year. And if they are newly participating in Sunbucks, they will be issued a new pine tree card. It's important that some households who had just PEBT um, may need to request replacement cards in order to access their benefits. So who is eligible? Just a reminder, this is not PEBT and each child needs to be deemed, deemed eligible in order to qualify. So some individuals will be streamlined certified and they will receive benefits without having to apply, kind of like our direct cert list. It is the direct cert list. It's just expanded a little bit. So this is the part. So any child who was age six to 16 any day during the 2004 school year or the summer operational period which is July of 23 to August of 24, and is receiving SNAP, TANF, FDPIR, TANF, is in foster care, has documentation of being homeless, is working in a migrant environment, or is part of a family receiving Medicare benefits with a verified household 
below the 185% poverty level will be streamlined certified. We are hoping that this means the majority of kids will receive this benefit without having to apply. Streamlined certified individuals also include students attending national school lunch program schools and eligible for free and reduced meals with an application. So they must have this application. It can be that NSLP application or for this year alone, for this summer alone, they can use the essentials program and services form for qualification, what we kind of call is the alternate income form. So that has been included as part of this streamlined certification for this year only. It does not mean that students that receive state funded school meals, an endowment for free meals, or receive a federally funded meal based on a CEP or a provision to school can get meals, they cannot get meals, This they are excluded. Each individual student must be eligible by their own personal criteria. Students that are not streamlined certified may be able to apply for Sunbucks. Applications for Sunbucks will be accepted between May 20th and August 15th, and the August 15th is a hard stop. Regardless, individuals, regardless of age, who are not streamlined certified should apply if they've been enrolled in an NSLP school and have been found eligible for free or reduced meals, um, either through the direct cert or through the application. Um, they cannot receive Sunbucks from any other state um, or tribal organization is the only caveat. So what is the application process? Applications are anticipated to be available from the Office of Family Independence starting on May 20th, 2024. And they, you can find those on their application and forms link. Applications will be available um, by requesting forms via phone, email, or going to the office or at that website. Applications will be very similar to our free and reduced application. It will be asked questions regarding household composition and income and some families may need to provide to validate the information provided on the application. Once they receive applications, they can submit them by mailing them to the Farmington office or emailing them to the Sunbucks website. Dedicated staff at DHHS will work and process these applications in the order that they're received. So how does Sunbucks affect the other programs? It doesn't. So Sunbucks rec receipt does not affect anybody's immigration status. It is not taxable and it does not count. Whoops. Oh, I'm flying ahead of myself. And it does not count as income for any means tested program. So anything like SNAP or TANF it does not mean, it does not count towards any income. Sunbucks can work together with Hot Lunch Summer that I know that you're all working on. Um, students can receive both um, a Hot Lunch Summer, summer meals, um, as well as receiving the $120 benefit. Sunbucks can be used 
by combining them with main harvest bucks or farm fresh rewards and take advantage of those programs as well. So what happens now? So this is the plan. Right now, we estimate that during the first full week of May, it may be the second full week of May now, um, but the notice of decision will be sent to households. So anybody who has been streamlined certified is going to receive a letter or a notice of decision in the mail. This notice of decision will tell them that they qualify for streamlined certification and that they are going to receive that benefit for that child. And then, oh, should tell you too, that on that nod, the notice of decision, families will able to be able to opt out of the benefit if they choose not to accept. So they can opt out on that letter and send it in on a, in a self-addressed stamped envelope um, in order to decline those benefits. And then the benefit will actually be mailed out in late June or put onto the cards in late June and mailed to households. Schools, ITOs, and OFI will gather data during the summer or gather information applications over the summer. Once they receive the application, they will send a notice of decision to the household, and then the, app, the benefits will be uploaded onto their cards um, in the later halves of July, August, September, October, and possibly even into November. It's important to note that the benefits will expire 122 days after they're issued, whether or not they've been used. So what should families do now? We want to make sure that whoever has the student information has the most current contact information, whether it be the schools, whether it be SNAP, food distribution program on Indian Reservation. Please make sure that the correct information is in the student information systems so that we make sure that we mail these cards to the correct households. If the child has had a PPEBT card and no longer has the card, they can call for a replacement at these numbers. And what should families do later? In May, families should look out for that nod letter, notifying them of the benefit and if they want to opt out of that benefit. Again, right now it is scheduled to come out the first week of May, but it may be the second week of May at this point. Families who don't get the... No, let's skip that. Individuals who are deemed eligible and do not post possess an EBT card will be required to activate their new card upon receipt. So anybody who's getting a new card needs to make sure it gets activated um, and they will need to use an individual PIN number in order to activate that card. EBT can be used in person and or online at stores, farmer's markets, and convenience stores. Families can look for that Quest logo in order to see if the grocery store or convenience store qual uh, participates in SNAP. And families can visit the SNAP, web the SNAP Ed website to look for new ideas on how to maximize their sunbox. Or look for ways to expand their knowledge with nutrition classes or discover new menu items, recipes. Wanted to know that we are here for you if you need anything. Again, I've been working with DHHS in order to bring this program to the state of Maine we're really excited to be able to do this for the students of Maine. 
The email is here, the website and the phone number are here for DHHS. And if anybody has any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.